Hey guys, welcome to another episode of STFU and now a bit later than I wanted to the this is all about the YouTube terms of service change a bit later like I said a bit later than I was hoping that it would be that was just down to the whole EU referendum malarkey but we're at, we've had enough of that now bored of that now last week YouTube changed its terms of service it's always doing this but it added a section in that got a few people's bum holes a twitcher ruining and that is because it basically covered pretty much everything under one little bullet point which was bullying pranking putting people on YouTube without their permission basically it covered a whole widespread area of things just in one little you could kind of say vague statement or bullet point and basically the whole point of the bullet point was to try and stop youtubers making videos attacking other youtubers or attacking normal people or putting people in their videos who didn't want to be in the videos it was kind of to cover that base a lot of people got on the high horse straight away oh everyone's channel's gonna get shut down oh my god leafy's getting shut down rice gum's getting shut down chill the fuck out for a second youtube very rarely implements a rule like this and just goes shutting everyone down doesn't really work like that usually if it's if they're planning on shutting people down they will go to the networks first and they will tell the networks look we're gonna start shutting channels down unless they adhere to these rules and it's up to the networks to tell the channels accordingly if they're not gonna start shutting down channels and they're just gonna implement it silently and then go from there which is what I think they've done because I've not I've not seen anything from any networks I may be wrong you know um, by the time this video comes out something else might may have come out about this so i don't know but yeah i've not seen anything like that so i think what they've done is just put it there so when people start complaining now about it they've got something to back it up and they've they can just basically shut anyone's channel down they want so the the channels that will probably be in trouble like i said before leafy rice gum idubs you know you've got joey salad and all that prank channels all of them are kind of at risk there are steps they can take well in terms of prank channels as well they have to get all their disclaimers signed etc so anyone who's on that video has given consent but pretty much the roasting channels like rice gum and leafy there's nothing much they can do apart from hang on a wing and a prayer basically that they don't get reported i suppose because if they do get reported too many times youtube will have to act and they usually act without prejudice <laughs> they just will take your channel off. they will just remove it they don't care some might say that's a good thing some might say these channels are absolutely destroying youtube they're not good they, they cause drama they hurt people they bully people kind of i'm kind of on that fence i'm not i'm not i don't feel that strongly about it but i suppose if they were to attack someone say roast them then they do get a lot of hate and that's the problem it's not the initial roast it's the hate that comes with it because these fans are loyal to a fault and they will just go after people mindlessly like a mob and that is a problem that is a problem it's not necessarily well it is the content you're making they're making because the likes of leafy and rice are bullying people there are more by the way i'm not just picking on well i am picking on them because they're the two that first come to mind they're the quickest up and coming ones and they're probably on the radar at the moment so that's why i'm saying them and they're both dicks as well so yeah they they can pretty much get someone harassed on the daily basis 24 hours a day just by doing a video which is kind of shit kind of shit especially if you're on the receiving end of that so at least these rules are in place now it's just a matter of seeing how youtube polices it and how how bans and that will come into effect and what the implications are if there's a warning system is a strike system i don't really know any of that yet because i've not seen anything else on the matter and like i said all of this information could already be out i've held this video back video back video back because the old referendum that was a good boris impression so yeah it, this could have came out if it came out do you do your do your homies a favor and put it in the uh, in the comments below and they can have give it a read now when this first came out obviously i always take to twitter i always take to facebook i get the lay of the land and i see what the normal the normal people are thinking us peasants like me who are just viewers 
I say viewers, I make videos, but not many people watch them. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm basically you. I see. I'm, I'm a viewer. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't class myself as you know their level. I'm more, more of a viewer. So I like to see what everyone else is going on about. I like to put the occasional tweet with a little, you know, a little bait attached to it, so I can get the get the occasional troll in, see what they are thinking. And a lot of people were saying, and this applies quite a lot of the time when I'm talking about stuff like this and it was especially to do with this and, and me talking about channels getting banned it seemed to be Americans doing it the most and I'm not trying to single anyone out I'm not trying to stereotype or anything that's just what I've noticed a few people are saying and it keeps cropping up every time I say something like this freedom of speech and that's the word freedom of speech obviously kids in america get taught this freedom of speech freedom of speech you say whatever you want you say whatever you want but there's a problem with that you can't say what you want you can you can but there's consequences that's what people don't seem to realize no one can oppress your voice no one can silence you you have to be prepared to deal with the consequences of what you say it's freedom of speech not freedom of consequence and that what that's what worries me about the youth of today they don't seem to understand that and like i said it seems to be america it, in britain i've never heard of someone say oh freedom of speech i can say what i want you can't do anything about it i've, ne I've literally never heard anyone say that in in britain never I, I think people in britain are very much aware that things they say can they can be held accountable and now i'm not talking about online trolling and stuff like that i'm on about face to face when people people from every single country in the world will troll someone online or say something online and they pretty much think 90 percent of the people think that nothing's gonna happen to them it's everything's okay but with stuff like this it's on a massive scale it's it's you're not the only person doing it it's a barrage of hate there's consequences for that who has to deal with the consequences should it be the the kids that are going after them or the people who are inciting the sort of mob so a bit of food for thought there guys so a few points to round up off at the end don't forget guys like i said you've got freedom of speech but you're not free from consequence if things you say do have an effect whether it be legal or just emotional to someone what you say has an effect that is the power of having a voice so use it wisely don't use it to spread hate don't use it to bully someone because you can either end up getting yourself in trouble or the person on the receiving end may find themselves in trouble. Also, what do you think about these channels possibly getting shut down? Personally, I don't like the idea of channels getting shut down, but if there are going to be some channels getting shut down, I'd rather it be these ones because it is bullying in a way. Not even in a way, it's bullying. It is. It can be funny at times, I admit that, I have laughed at a few of them at the person's expense, which is kind of shitty. So, yeah, I think th this will be abolished soon from, from YouTube. I think that's what they're going to they're gonna get at eventually, but I don't think they're going to backlog and get wipe everyone out. I think they're going to do it from now. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the comments up, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.